Hey guys, how's it going? It's Apple here back on the channel. So, I've been doing some really random videos recently, but this one I feel like something that needs to be slightly addressed just because it, it means something in a way, right? It means something. The northeast of England, Newcastle area, has a radio station called Metro Radio. Now, Metro Radio for the last 40 years has hosted a show on a night time, started at 10 o'clock at night, went right on through the night till about 1 or 2 a.m. called Night Owls. Now, subs subs yeah, I can't speak. <laughs> can't say subsequently. <laughs> What's happened is, is Night Owls has been cancelled by Metro Radio. And I think it's a disgrace. I think it is an absolute disgrace. Alan Robson's been the voice of the Northeast for the last 40 years. He built up a show that was, to me, was untouchable. You get on a night time, if you're driving home in the Northeast on a night time and you wanted to listen to anything that was interesting or anything that was fun or something that was going to give you the, you know, a bit, the willies, shall we say, when he did his uh, ghost stories and his, his ghost hunts in certain locations around the, around the UK, you know. It was the it was the show to listen to, and I think personally speaking on a, on, a, on a personal level to me, I don't want to listen to non-stop music, and I think a lot of people will agree with me that they don't want to listen to non-stop music on a night time. It's bad enough when I was coming home on a Saturday or a Sunday, and I'd hear like I wouldn't hear my Alan Robson, I'd hear some poxy music show to put on. I personally think that we need to like you know boycott Metro. Boycott TFM. You know, I, I know what Alan was saying. He says he wants, you know, he's left on good terms. He wants, he doesn't want it to be like, you know, how would it, but I think we should. I think we should protest against the fact that Metro Radio have decided to try and compete with the likes of Capital and the likes of, you know, your other radio stations that do non stop music through the night, thinking that's what people want to hear. It's not what people want to hear. I mean, am I wrong in saying that Metro Radio have looked at it and thought, actually, you know, people want to hear live music through the night or music through the night that's not what the people want i am like technically was this was just literally talking to my girlfriend about this as far as the station goes it was the first real kind of social media if you will so if you think about night out think about social media as a as a, an outlet where people post videos or say what they want or give opinions right that was that was kind of like night owls yeah we were the product, we were the ones that would go on there and we would give our opinions and we fell in love with the show because of that. And to me, that's that was Night Alice through and through. As he said, as he said in his um, farewell bit, you know, they helped as many people as they could, they saved lives, they did everything else. More importantly, alongside all that, they kept us entertained through the night. When people were working late or people were driving, you know? He kept us entertained through that. I'm just sitting, even even not being, not having to go to work early in the morning, so you sat up and you listened to night owls. I used to do it all the time when I was living in Scotland. I just think it's a disgrace, and I think Metro Radio need to step up and say, look, we made a mistake. But obviously that's not going to happen, because corporate, right? Corporate, corporate are untouchable. That's the problem. Corporate is untouchable. They own the station, they own the show. I just think it's an absolute disgrace. If you're with me, make sure you drop a like on this video. Uh, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, feel free to do so. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to make a short video about this. I'll catch you guys in a bit. Peace.